All right, back again. Um, got a bale in here now to spread, and yeah. So, lime's all spread. I had to bring in a wheelbarrow load of lime to put in there because I thought I, I must have drug some out when I back drug to level this off. Probably got too deep there, which happens. So filled it in. Just used my feet to pack it down because I don't have a tomper. Well. I have a tomper, but it's for fence posts, not for large areas. So, anyway, hope you guys can see there. This. Now you're all probably going to ask why we're using hay, well, we don't have any straw, so, well, we got some straw, but it's not enough to do a pen, to do this pen, this pen is 60 feet long, by, I'd say, about 60, so... Say about 20 feet, 60 by 20 feet wide. So that's that'd be a lot of straw, small square bales and straw. So I'm just using some old hay, which which will do the job. So anyway, I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, another thing guys, um, if you want to hear something, want to, if you still have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section, and if you have any ideas for some other videos, I'm open to them. I thought about doing a how-to video on Ferguson, at least for now, since that is the main work tractor. Sure, most of you know how to operate an H and M, but I can do those too. <coughs> I was gonna do a how-to hook up the loader on the Ferguson, but that didn't happen. That's that's a two-hand job, and I don't have a camera capable. I don't have the video and capability for that yet. But, straw will work. I'm going to cover the upper end. A little hay will work. I'm going to cover this upper end here. First, this is our loading chute area. Well, our truck loading area. We have a guy come and haul for us. He brings in a gooseneck trailer and hauls our cats out for us. Probably gonna be enough hay in here to do what I need you to do, so I'll oh, definitely is. Normally we use 
for 4 H cabs we use wood chips and this up here will get turned into a will get bedded in wood chips or wood shavings at some point in time. The reason we use wood chips because wood shavings is because they're easier to clean up. So they don't make a big mess and the cows won't eat them, they'll play around in them. And they pack down tight. So they form a hard bedding. And they soak up moisture even better than hay and straw does. But wood shavings are easier to clean. We can take a plastic manure fork that we use to take the fair with us and clean that. So, yeah, about it. I'm going to try and bed this kind of heavy. i got to tear it up just to make it easier for the cows to tear it up, of course. Otherwise it would be too slick. And down here, and then once I get done down here, then I'll come back up here, throw more in that hole there. Only Okay. So, yeah. Um... Any videos you want to see, uh, there probably won't be any videos of working calves because usually those there are controversy up and all that. Like Ryan said in his videos where he's they work cattle, you gotta be careful with those kind of videos because you never know if Peter or someone like that will find it, and then, or someone who's against who thinks it's cruel to sort cows, separate them from their calves. So, glad most of you that watch my channel don't don't think that way. If you do, I respect your thinking. I sure hope you change your mind, but, you know, I, you can't change everybody's mind. If you could, the world would be too perfect. But no, we, when we sort... I'll tell you this now, when we sort, we don't, we don't use shock sticks. Those are definitely not what you want to use when sorting cattle. I mean, they're okay. I don't see a full issue with them. If you've got an animal that's hard to contain, give them a zap with it to let him know you're in charge. But... We use regular wooden canes that you can buy, like Orsland's or Rural King. So, I hope you guys are getting all this on audio and partially video. I hope my mic is catching all this. This is all my camera, so the video quality is not going to be as... My camera is an old one, so it films in 480. So it's not going to be as good as what my phone will film. So bear with me on that. Anyway, um, yeah, we just use regular sorting stick, sorting canes. You do have to give one a whack on the nose every once in a while, but you don't try and do it too often otherwise you will spook them 
you will have issues when sorting them. So mainly the cane is just kind of blocker. You know, you works as a barrier. You hold your arm out and what make yourself appear wider to the cow, and then that. Another issue is, well, that's about it, really. Um, on that topic. So yeah, there won't, there probably won't be a video of that. Mainly because that's that's a that's a big job to sort cattle and separate cows from calves. And we got two that were late in the season. They came around June, July. So. Those aren't going to be shipped yet. They're not ready to be weaned, of course. They won't be ready till spring. Pain in the butt. Somehow they got off their cycle, and we don't we don't know how. Our guess is when they first got bred to the bowl, they didn't take. So cows are on a certain cycle. I don't know. So that's they didn't take is our guess and yeah and then they rebred somewhere they didn't breed in the summer they would have had to have bred in the fall or the winter Lied nine months of pregnancy. It read somewhere in the fall then. Cow's gestation period is nine months, so they had to bred in the fall to have June or July calves, so then they go on stay on that same cycle. pictures of them on Instagram all cleaned up. She cleaned up one because she was dirty and two there's a our local our town has a fair every year in the fall called Farmers Fair. At one point it was to celebrate the farmers you know but you know it got citified and all that. It's it's still to celebrate the farmers and the, of course they don't do anything for it, but, you know, it was, that's what it was designed around, because back when it was, when it first came around, everyone was a farmer, basically. The good majority of the country and each state we're all farmers. Yeah, it's your typical city people, but even but it's not like it is now where everyone lives in a subdivision or you know. So and That's about it for today, guys. So I need to get this done, finish this up. So last video, I think, for today. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.